In today's episode, we stayed in Alamogordo, New Mexico for five days. We wanted to stop by Alamogordo mainly due to its proximity to White Sands National Monument. The park in the area holds a special meaning to me, mainly because my dad did a lot of missile testing when he worked for Hughes Aircraft Company back in the day out at White Sands Missile Range. White Sands Missile Range completely surrounds the White Sands National Park. The day that we went, it was pretty windy, so we had to mask up and make sure that uh, we didn't get any gypsum into our lungs. Just make sure that you take some kind of navigation tools to help you when you go hiking out on the dunes, because you can hike anywhere you want, but your tracks are going to be covered up by the time you get back, because uh, the wind blows constantly. So one minute, we're down in, um, I'm losing my voice, sorry, 65 degree weather. And right now we're up in uh, 52 degree weather and snow. And Charmaine's making a snowman. We're just outside of Cloud Crop, New Mexico now. We had uh, lunch today up here at a pizza place that was recommended to us and it was delicious. So, uh, now we're playing in the snow. Does he have fetal alcohol syndrome? Because his eyes are really far apart. Oh, hold on. Since we had five days to spend in Helen Gordo, we decided to partake in some of the other local activities. We went and did some wine tasting, went to pistachio land, and also went up to Cloudcroft for the day where we uh, ate at a really nice brewery up there, the Cloudcroft Brewing Company, and had some delicious pizza. We moved our base from Alamogordo to Carlsbad, the city of, uh, where we visited Carlsbad Caverns. And I just have to say, it was absolutely an amazing experience. You have no idea how immense these caverns are until you actually step down into them. From the visitor center, it's about a half a mile to an eight-tenths of a mile hike down some seriously steep switchbacks to get down to the bottom of the caverns. Once you get down to the bottom and you think that you've seen all you can see, you notice that there's another huge area to explore. The big room rock takes you around the entire floor of the caverns and you can see some amazing sights. We could have spent hours exploring down there, but we had to get back because we left the dogs in our hotel room and didn't want to leave them there for too long. However, the park itself does have a kennel, so if you choose to bring your animals with you, although they're not allowed in any of the visitor centers or inside the caverns themselves, you can uh, definitely bring them and leave them in the kennel. On the way out of the park, we spotted some desert bighorn sheep and that just pretty much ended our day on a positive note, as always. <laughs>